prednisone is a hormone. It is mimicking your body's naturally occurring hormone, cortisol. And fun fact, if you look at cortisol and other hormones in a picture, unless you're very trained as an organic chemist, it's going to be hard for you to spot the differences. It's like, you know, those pictures where they're like, okay, spot the difference between this and this. You spot the difference between prednisone, testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen. They're very minor, tiny little changes. They're only a few molecules different from each other. And in fact, your body uses some to make the others. You can start with something called pregnenolone and it can become basically any of those things. DHEA, progesterone, testosterone, all of them are in this flux, this steroid hormone cascade. They all have this four ring structure that's exactly the same. That backbone is the same and it's all derived from cortisol. And so prednisone is affecting these hormones. Men can have low testosterone. Women can have messed up estrogen and progesterone, which can lead to what? Infertility or just bleeding changes in general, essentially. Prednisone can lead to menstrual cycle changes, bleeding changes because of the hormone changes it's causing.